Hello all, welcome to LTX classes. In this series, we are discussing the Hindu analysis main prelims oriented classes. Clear? All the prelims important articles that have come in the Hindu are going to be covered in this analysis part. We are going to pictureize you the whole important articles in prelims perspective, the method that they come and how we have to eliminate if few things have come by going through few practice questions clear daily we are doing one current affairs question and one static question too right yes so let's start our today's class and discussion 19 8 20 22 and articles are going to be dealt by Srinivas clear look our articles to be explored see elevated inflation needs apt policy reply and RBI eyes robust statistics and machine learning to monitor economy in real time and next BRI projects are slow but lending rises clear and next busted means great Indian busted adapt to produce the two egg clutch clear so these are the very important prelims oriented article Let's first discuss yesterday's questions and we can go to our present day articles. Now check our today's current affairs based MCQ clear current affairs based MCQ. So the question being consider the following statements consider the following statements. First statement PM 2.5 is much harmful than PM 10 clear and next India holds the 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 most nox and pm 2.5 pollutants cities in the world clear so india holds the most nox and pm 2.5 pollutant cities in the world and means nitrogen oxide and pm 2.5 means particulate matter 2.5 and we have discussed this in the article right so this is the two statements and here see options are only one only two both and d none this is the yesterday's question right so pm 2.5 much harmful than pm 10 yes the statement is true why because we have learned the size of pm 2.5 the size of pm 2.5 is 2.5 micrometers clear 2.5 micrometers so it can travel into any of the spaces clear so it can deposit in human lungs it can deposit in human lungs and cause respiratory tract infections and diseases. So PM 2.5 is much harmful than PM 10 and India holds most NOx. No, no, no. Regarding NOx or NO2, India does some better performance and regarding PM 2.5 pollutants, Indian cities in the world clear. So statement 2 is wrong. And so here answer is A only one only statement one is true statement two is wrong as the article says we are not in top 20 in NO2 emissions but in PM 2.5 emissions Delhi leads all the world clear Delhi is the most worst affected PM 2.5 city clear yes so let's discuss the static question so now we have to go for the Static based MCQ clear. Static based MCQ. Look at this. 
consider the following statements consider the following statements and look after the statements first statements being state government state government cannot issue cannot issue g6 g6 means government securities g6 means government securities clear yes government securities so here uh, this article or this static question is from economy clear in economy part you might have read related to what is the meaning of gsec or government security state government cannot issue gsec and second statement see state government cannot borrow state government cannot borrow money directly from foreign governments from foreign governments so here you can choose only one b only to c both and d none so yes statement 1 is correct state government cannot issue government securities sir then who can issue government securities at any cost only central government can issue only central government can issue g6 clear government securities clear g6 are issued by central government only state government cannot issue so statement 1 is true statement 2 state government cannot borrow yes state government cannot borrow directly from foreign governments clear yes so answer here is c both various conditions in polity has put the state government and it barred the state government in taking any of the loans from government uh, foreign governments and uh, and rbi also clearly says state government cannot issue g6 or government securities only central government can issue g6 through the roots of rbi how the process actually works rbi issues g6 or government securities rbi collects the money and use uh, to government the same money for various purposes the same work is not done by rbi uh for the states so that is the reason state government cannot issue g6 sir so then what about sdls sdls or securities that state government issues these are state development loans these are like loans that state government is seeking from the public if they want to invest they can invest but these are not to be considered as g6 clear yes so check our first article today that is elevated inflation needs apt policy reply clear so the article is very important from gs3 economy perspective right from gs3 economy the article is very important so first of all try to uh, delineate the things that have come in the heading part elevated inflation we shall see what is elevated inflation that elevated inflation needs apt apt means exact policy reply clear so first of all what is the meaning of inflation inflation means see the average the average increase of prices the average increase of prices in a sustained time in a sustained not in one shot but in a sustained time period and these are for basket of commodities these are for basket of commodities then only it is to be called as inflation so inflation should show that the prices of the products should increase 
and the time limit has to be long means uh, let's take uh, the price has increased for one day and for next one week the prices have come down or remained so it not to be called as inflation for every week one rupee two rupee for every month two rupees three rupees in this way if the price increases then only it should be called as inflation clear so in generally in general economic terms because of various reasons inflation occurs in domestic countries right inflation occurs in domestic countries then what is this elevated inflation then what is this elevated inflation elevated inflation means we generally happen to increase the inflation we actually indulged in increasing the prices is called elevated inflation what could be the reasons of elevated inflation because of imported inflation sir very good what is this imported inflation imported inflation means you might be getting some products for example here the most beautiful example being oil clear at international stage because of various conditions prices of oils gets increased right but when india importing the same oil it has to face that same inflation it has to purchase the same inflation too so are you getting let's take the example because of russia and ukraine the international prices of oil per barrel got increased prior to russia invasion into ukraine the cost of oil barrel one barrel cost seems to be dollar 60 but the same barrel cost right now is dollar 90 right so it shows that there is one third increase of prices of the products so this is the reason if we are purchasing at the price of dollar 60 prices of oil in india seems to be somewhere around 100 if the price is dollar 90 in india also prices might increase 30 percentage and reach to rupees 130 so during because of increase in prices of oil as these goods are imported into india we are carrying the inflation from international states to domestic countries this is the meaning of imported inflation which means we are happening to see the part of inflation because of the imported products this is called imported inflation so here when rbi clearly saying rbi recently released one bulletin that is regarding the state of economy it is clearly telling that some policy actions are required to control the inflation these are the words of rbi in that state of economy report clear yes of course at the world level inflation has come down because of as the nations supply chain got increased priorly inflation was increased because of lack of supply but right now china is producing its products and various south asian countries are producing the products so right now the supply was not an issue the supply was not an issue the supply chain pressures have come down and prices also commodity prices in general commodity prices have come down because of covid effect the demand has come down the commodity prices has come down because the demand has come down so as even though inflation is increasing the prices still remain in normal condition because of its lack of demand because of its lack of demand so when demand increases the prices might reach the higher levels also clear in india also supply conditions were improving as recent monsoon got normal so agricultural uh, crop can see the momentum and we can also see the momentum are restart of manufacturing uh, services manufacturing of various products and service sector is seeing its high positions and because of festival season as demand got increased because of festival season 
the activities the activities are picking up but when the time goes on unless government is going to come with some apt policy measures inflation might show the dangerous effects clear inflation might show the dangerous effects so central government capital expenditure regarding the investment should be properly appropriated to control the inflation are you getting so what the article or the author is saying here central government needs to increase its capital expenditure capital expenditure means expenses for larger investment for example for infrastructure for roads construction all these comes under capital expenditure the infrastructure and capital expenses of the central government needs to be enlarged and enhanced so that investment activities generally picks up why see because of infrastructure investment definitely gets increased in the cities and in the nation so if investments increases the uh, opportunities or employment opportunities reaches hike so if employment opportunities increases the salaries for these employees will increase as salaries increase the demand for products in the economy seems increases so if we invest in infrastructure the outcome would be increase in the demand and the general prices of the products would reach the normal stage and condition so because of this reason rbi in its report or bulletin report asking central government to increase its capital expenditure clear so these are the reasons and even the article is clearly telling there is one committee that is called monetary policy committee clear so hold on <clears throat> there is one committee that is called monetary policy committee in monetary policy committee rbi members would stay and other executive members would also stay so here the monetary policy committee is headed by rbi under various act uh, various agreements in 2016 one agreement happened between rbi and central government to control the inflation clear by amending rbi act of 1934 one agreement got accepted regarding rbi has to maintain the inflation to plus or minus 2 percentage of plus or 2 uh, percentage of 4 actually the inflation is 4 percent is okay to the range of 2 to 6 why because 4 plus or minus 2 4 minus 2 2 and 4 plus 2 6 so the range of inflation that is okay is 2 to 6 percentage but right now the inflation is somewhere around 7.3 percentage according to the data means rbi failing to put in that limit so as of now rbi is asking the central government to come with proper policy measures if proper policy measures comes down <clears throat> then this 7.3 percentage would definitely limit in this range clear so 2 to 6 percent is the range that rbi in government accepted inflation levels in india so these are the measures that rbi expecting from central government these articles are very important as these carries huge importance regarding various terms clear like imported inflation elevated inflation and rbi monetary policy committee all these things are very important this is next important article rbi eyes robust statistics and machine learning ml means machine learning to monitor the economy in real time clear so the article is very important from gs3 economy perspective clear from the perspectives of gs3 economy the article is very important clear so it is saying that the timely information crucial for monetary policy decisions for monetary policy decisions the information for rbi is very important let's take the example there is such thing that is called the importance of data clear proper 
reliable timely data provides for good planning proper planning might help in increasing the efficiency of organization first of all rbi is telling we are going to have robust statistics system what is the meaning of robust robust means a concrete measures regarding collection of data and evaluation and anal analysis of data would be done in short time clear why the importance of data is immense data is very important for proper good planning and data helps in to anticipate the to anticipate the problems the problems in any organization or economy can be anticipated with proper data and proper data helps in bringing up the analysis part of the organization or economy right so here we just stick to the part of economy so proper proper planning anticipation of problems analysis would help and all these things would bring definitely efficiency clear so all these would definitely bring the efficiency in the organization and the effectiveness of the organization would also seems to be increased clear so the parts the parts which are very important for data collection is to give proper way forward clear the data also provide the better way forward for the economy so as the importance of data is immense RBI likely to deploy the statistical data and the machine learning technique to strengthen the real time tracking of economic activity clear so RBI is trying to gather the real time tracking of economic activities how economic activities are uh, happening in india in the economy and how these needs to be concretely put to get the greater benefits for the economy clear so the impact caused by the pandemic could properly be ascertained and remedial measures would be put down by the rbi clear so this is the reason rbi wishes to come with the robust statistics and machine learning part clear so so government uh, rbi recently come out with the weekly activity indices to collect the latest economic developments why see if data has come with minimal lag so lag is a term which means the time taken lag is a term lag is a time the time taken to collect data and to get implementation clear see data is collected post completion of the work right so post completion of the work and the next remedial measures would take some time so that lag would see by that time the harmful might happen right so to reduce that harm rbi willing to go for real time data collection so that the lag would come down so rbi wishes to come with two weekly activity indicators clear so weekly activity indicators so seven indicator so rbi has developed two different weekly indices so first indices collect the seven indicators weekly activity index clear so using the dynamic factor model reflect uh, dynamic mo factor model system under dynamic factor model system <coughs> proper reflection of datas would see in the economy and all these important datas would be collected clear so and next one one seven indicator data and the other 15 indicator weekly diffusion index weekly diffusion index this is weekly activity index so the diffusion is it collects on the basis of 15 indicators and it will take week time and they will go on telling the directional movement it would help for the directional movement it would say the economy might increase or the economy might reduce or the economy might go in this same pace only all this information would be provided by the weekly diffusion index clear the weekly diffusion index these are the two indicators that government uh, that rbi has come 
and we have said what is the meaning of lag and the importance of proper collection of data with faster innovations and realignment of production process due to pandemic the economic indicators falls short so if we collect the proper data required measures can be taken in the economy to do the correction measures clear yes so these data supplement the present additional data clear as these are going to be some additional data which provides the exact time limit and these things to reduce the lag clear so this is important article this is important article regarding the collection of data in economy clear yes and we can go for our next article check our next article it is bri projects are slow but lending rises clear so here the article is very important from gs2 international relations perspective clear in gs2 ir it is very important so when you observe bri projects actually it is speaking regarding the belt and road initiative clear the belt and road initiative of the china clear so china want to establish its earlier supremacy sir what is its earlier supremacy in earlier what we have is something that is called the silk road a silk road is a connecting roads and railways or something any of the means of communication from china to euro clear why because why it is called as silk road through this road the silk of china used to be carried from the, uh, china to euro clear so that's why the name of silk road has come china after asserting its global power it wants to emphasize on this silk road clear the belt and road initiative project the bri project clear so belt and road initiative is various investments and the connecting points various investments and the construction activities like infrastructure roads railways waterways port constructions everything comes under this so called the bri project as of now china has come with these projects to increase the infrastructure funding clear the infrastructure funding for the uh, whole regions from it wants to again connect the lanes from china to europe to increase the trade both exports and imports can be gain with this thing clear and as we know the china is the supplying producer for most of the nations if it is able to connect from china to europe it it tries to it it actually wants to conquer the european market wholesale clear so with this it has come with that bri project here china is going to have various infrastructure projects right so china actually wished to spend more than 932 billion for the whole projects 932 billion is very very huge project clear so total engagement is 932 billion rup 932 billion dollars clear so in that whole thing china want to do construction of dollar 561 billion in construction purpose and the other amount being for investment clear so both investments and construction the totaling amount is of dollar 932 billion so in this it is clearly saying that chinese investments in infrastructure projects under this project has come down because beijing's short term assistance and medium term assistance to its member partner countries has reduced drastically clear because of covid 19 and everything china's shift in approach has changed clear so china's chinese shift in approach can be clearly seen 
uh, after the covid 19 in the first half of 2022 chinese engagement through investments and contracts has amounted to dollar 28.4 billion clear so see it is uh, uh, more than 47 percent is from its earlier investments right now china is investing more rather doing the construction activities sir why it is not doing construction activities to do construction activities it require lot of people but now everywhere lockdowns are happening in most of the world countries so it thought it is wise to invest in stock markets why if you observe the during the covid situations indian stock markets has come very low but soon of course it got increased so china want to opportunize it means it just want to purchase the assets during the low times and it wants to sell the same during the high times so as of now china is investing more rather than investing in construction activity clear so of 16 dollar 16 uh, million dollar 16 billion project 12 dollar billion is investing and it is doing construction of only four to five billion dollars only are you getting so here we can see a marked decline from 2019 clear in 2019 china invested dollar 48 billion in the construction but right now it has come very down to somewhere around four to 5 billion this is a drastic decline right so this is the role that we are expecting and we can observe the chinese average size of project has also come down earlier chinese minimum project is dollar 560 million dollar 560 million the minimum project but now the minimum project has come to dollar 325 million means it is right now taking the very short projects rather than taking the long projects and taking years together to complete the same china as of now willing to invest in short term projects here see several countries see chinese engagement in the first half of the year has come down by more than 60 percentage the countries are russia Sri Lanka and Egypt and Pakistan clear they are telling that Chinese investment has come down very drastically regarding Pakistan this holds very great importance why because if you observe see take this is Jammu Kashmir and this is the LOC line of control Chinese project that is cpec is actually passing through this lac clear this is cpec china pakistan economic corridor clear so china pakistan economic corridor it is the part of bri project india negating with this project why because you are doing construction in the sovereign land of india these are the words of india and of course whole and integral part jammu kashmir integratedly it is the part in india right but here when you observe the cpec project actually flowing from loc this is the concern of india but china is investing from the last five years china invested dollar more than 26 billion in cpec project and in the gwadar port of pakistan clear so this is india and this is as this is pakistan china is investing in the cpec projects and in port projects of pakistan clear so these are the things and as of now china of course willing to invest more in bri documents this year it wants to invest more than 140 billion like going for construction of china and laos china laos is one country name china laos railway line and after that 
it is constructing the bridge in serbia of russia clear in serbia of russia and after in gwadar project in pakistan clear so these are the major investments present china is doing across the world and this bri project is very dangerous for the world why because through bri project china is going for debt trap diplomacy debt trap diplomacy clear so what happened to sri lanka's hamban tota port it is also invested under bri project only but it got leased to china for 99 years right so the bri projects are very dangerous for the world smooth ongoing projects and to the world economic corridor okay in world economic order also china is doing some kios clear yes so this is the main important article from gs2 international relations so you have to remember the present projects of china to use the same data in your answer parts clear yes take now this is also the important article bustards adopt to produce two egg clutch clear yes then see what is this here the article is very important from gs3 environmental perspective clear gs3 environmental perspective here the article is referring to gib gib means great indian great indian bustard what is this great indian bustard great indian bustard is a bird which is which holds the great significance great indian bustard can be seen in the areas of rajasthan in the areas of rajasthan its status in iucn red list is critically endangered clear the great indian bustard in rajasthan the iucn status holds to be the uh, critically endangered the great indian bustard is critically endangered when you term some animal or some bird as critically endangered where its reproductive capacity is very low when its reproductive capacity is very low it is often termed as the critically endangered birds these critically endangered birds are very rare to see because of its very low in number when you are keeping some animal as a critically endangered you are showing some importance towards these animals you just want to revive the number of the birds clear the number of the birds or so called animals so here also the great indian bustard is very important in rajasthan the uh, desert regions in the rajasthan desert regions these are very important so as of now when you observe here they are referring to the desert national park in jaisalmer what is that the jaisalmer jaisalmer desert national park clear in jaisalmer of rajasthan there is desert national park in this desert national park some new characteristic was seen in the behavior of the great indian bustards when you observe the behavior it is clearly saying the word of adapt first of all what is the meaning of adapt when you are making comfort of the new things it is called the adaptation means if the climate has changed in the environment when you are going outside without taking any sweater or something it is called adaptation means the minimum changes were accommodated by you without taking any drastic decisions in your body means your body actually accepting the adaptation process that is the meaning of adaptation and the adaptation can be a short term or a long term sometimes see during summer you you will get the adaptation habit of sweat 
सर वाई ओनली स्वेटिंग कम्स इन समर इट इज नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ हीटनेस द स्वेटनेस इज द एडाप्टेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ आवर बॉडी वेर इट एक्चुअली चेक्स द वॉटर फ्लो द साल्ट कंटेंट इन आवर बॉडी to suit the needs of our body clear so that is the adaptation process if you are going for the adaptation process so your body uh, feels some comfort with the present environment but when you observe the present condition it is of temporary in nature sweat is of temporary in nature clear but here also we have to observe what happened in jaisalmer this great indian busters adopted the practice of going for two egg clutch clear so here they are going for two egg clutch where you are going to produce two eggs and these two eggs is because of its new behavior a result of increased food after excessive rain after excessive rain the increased food availability of great indian bustard helping them to go for clutch of two eggs at a time so is this advantage or disadvantages yes of course it is a, a clear great advantage why it is a clear great advantage as the great indian bustard number is critically endangered when you are able to go for more number of great indian bustards then the number of great indian bustard by single time it got double why because because of two egg clutch so see earlier it used to do only one or two animals for 100 great indian bustards of this two egg clutch but as of now when they are observing from the last one year most of the bustards and maximum number of the bustards are going for two egg clutch rather than one egg here they have used the term clutch because at a single time they are laying two eggs clear so that is why it is to be called as the two egg clutch clear so these are very important from environmental perspective why great indian bustard is very important to check the growth of other dangerous things in the desert area clear so great indian bust actually plays important role in biodiversity of that region clear so the biodiversity of that region is very important so the same can be conserved and uh, helped by the great indian bustard clear so regarding on biodiversity perspectives and everything the great indian uh, bustards are very important and these carry huge importance so regarding prelims perspective you have to remember where you can see desert national park in rajasthan area and the iucn status of great, uh, great indian bustard is critically endangered clear yes so this is the important bird of uh, rajasthan clear rajasthan's state bird is great indian bustard only so this great indian bustard is also very important for environmental perspectives clear so this is the article let's have the current affairs question check the current affairs question consider the following statements consider the following statement first statement is bri project bri project in or bri project india plays crucial role india plays crucial role along with china along with china are you getting which means that in that chinese bri project india is also investing in that project to gain more advantages clear this is the meaning of bri project india plays crucial role along with china clear and next second statement is china under bri investing only in asian countries only in asian 
countries clear only in asian countries so second statement is saying china under bri investing only in asian countries so it is choose the correct option choose the correct option that is a only one and b only two c both and d none clear so here uh, in bri projects we have come with the objectives of bri the importance of bri projects in asian countries and recent projects of china under bri you have seen that clear so based on that you can definitely answer this question clear so do participate i encourage everyone to participate in the question clear so this is the static question question consider the following statements consider the following statements first of all kudumbashree is a project from tamil nadu clear kudumbashree project is from tamil nadu it is a self help group for supporting for supporting governments projects government projects or by works means this is a sag like body which is supporting the government works what is this shg shg means self help group clear self help group so choose the correct option a only one b only two c both and d none clear so it is saying it is an shg for supporting government projects and kudumbashree is a project from tamil nadu clear so this is the state of question that we are taking and i wish everyone to encourage and do participate in this question so that you will get the static knowledge too clear